Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a product review for you guys on the Real Her I Am Glowing Power Wear Eyeshadow Stick. I recently got this product in my ipsy box and I was really excited to give this product a try and do a specialized video because I love eyeshadow sticks so if you guys are interested in seeing me deep dive into this product and create this beautiful look for you guys and also share my thoughts on what I think about this product then make sure to keep on watching now before we jump into the video make sure you guys are subscribed to to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload all right we're gonna start with a skin prep the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize using the Shiseido essential energy hydrating cream I've been loving this cream you guys it's super moisturizing on the face and it's thick but it's not like too thick if that makes sense like it's not heavy on the face but it's thick enough that it's a really good moisturizer for the winter i feel like it really brings back moisture and hydration to the face i'm going into my laneige sleeping mask this is the peppermint one shout out to my sister who gave this to me I'm just prepping the lips with this, prepping the under eyes with my Skin Proud Ice Go Cooling Eye Serum Stick. I absolutely love this stuff under the eyes, you guys. It just really nicely preps them and adds moisture and just gets them ready for makeup. I finally got a new milk primer, you guys. I ran out and I was just using other primers that I had in my collection that are good not gonna lie they are good primers that's why i have them but nothing beats milk you guys oh look at this beauty i actually never had a full size like this myself i always kind of got by with samples like sephora likes to give out a lot of samples of this stuff so yeah, I'm just going to go in with this on my T-zone just to prep the skin. This stuff really nicely blurs out my pores and my makeup just goes on so effortlessly. I am concentrating this on my T-zone. And just for some extra hydration, I want to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Next up, I'm going to color correct and I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in the shade medium 2. I'm applying this onto areas where I have hyperpigmentation or any acne scarring and this is just going to help blur out those imperfections. Next up, I'll be going in with one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. All right, foundation is done. Next up, I want to work on the eyes. So I'm gonna quickly prime them with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then I'm gonna just set the lids in place with the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. All right, time to jump into the product that we're going to be reviewing today, and that is the Real Her I Am Glowing Eyeshadow Stick. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm super excited to try this out. The product does twist out, and I have the shade Rose Shimmer. You guys know I love eyeshadow sticks, so I'm really excited to try this one out. This is a beautiful color, you guys. It's like a nice, soft, rose gold shimmer. Oh my god, I'm excited to try this. I'm just going to go directly on to the eyes, and I'm just going to fill them in with the eyeshadow stick. I love eyeshadow sticks because they make doing your eyes so quick and easy these feel really buttery and creamy on the eyes which i like it's super comfortable as i'm applying it i am just going to tap the eyeshadow into the eyes just gonna do a second layer just to add a little bit more pigment we need to of course diffuse out the crease so what i'm gonna do is first go in with my finger and while the product is still creamy I'm just gonna buff out the edges a little bit. This product does not dry really quickly. A lot of times eyeshadow sticks I find dry very fast, but this one is still not fully dry yet. I'm going in with my Shades by Shan bronzer. You can go in with any bronzer. I'm just blending the edges of where we applied the eyeshadow stick and I'm just diffusing it with some bronzer. And this is gonna help get a nice gradient on the lids so it doesn't look so 
choppy or so harsh. So I am starting to notice the product crease up a little bit on the lids and I feel like the product is disappearing a little bit. So I'm just going to go back in and fill it in with the product. And I'm trying to decide if this product is going to fully dry or if it's going to stay creamy because if it's going to stay creamy, I don't know if I'm gonna love that because I need this stuff to dry. I'm not sure how I feel about this product, you guys, because it's not really drying up. The lids are starting to crease up. A lot of the times, eyeshadow sticks are supposed to dry relatively fast. It's supposed to turn into like an eyeshadow formula, but this is just staying creamy, so I don't know how I feel about that. Let's just leave the eyes be for now. Maybe it'll dry up. Maybe it's just a slower drying process. I'm gonna move on to doing the rest of my my face and then we'll check back in with the eyes so I'm gonna go ahead in and just conceal the face I'm gonna use the concealer to just clean up the eyeshadow and create a nice outer V just setting the face in place with the Huda Beauty setting powder I'm gonna wipe away the setting powder because it's all done setting my face and I'll just drag the powder onto the rest of my face because we're gonna use powder products to contour blush and highlight today as I'm working on the face, I'm analyzing the lids, you guys, and honestly, this eyeshadow stick is not drying. Um, it still looks very creamy. It's starting to get like patchy and it's creasing. So I'm starting to think this product on its own might not be the greatest. Um, maybe what we'll do is go on top of the lids with some powder eyeshadow. Like maybe this can work well as a base, but on its own, it's not looking too great, you guys. Like it's looking really patchy and creasing and I'm just not a fan, but we're gonna still just let it be um, just because we're really putting this product to the test. So let's just let it be and let's contour the face. I'm going in with my Shades by Shan bronzer. Jumping into the Beauty in a Blink face palette, I think I wanna go in with, maybe I'll do a mixture of these two blushes. I'm gonna highlight and I want to go into the Tresluce face palette. This is their Play a Dreams highlighter palette and I'm gonna go in with the powder shade and this is called Paradise. Going to quickly fill in my brows with the Benefit Gimme Brow. All right, let's address the eyes. We cannot ignore them anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead in and feel the eyes. And okay, it did dry a little bit. It did dry, but I just don't understand why it's still patchy. So maybe what I'll do is maybe I need to go in with another layer just on the areas where it got patchy. That's not really useful because the whole point of an eyeshadow stick is to work quickly. Like I always gravitate towards one when I'm in a rush. So if I have to sit here and let my lids dry, then that's not fun. I'm gonna go in with a powder eyeshadow on top just to see if I can save this look because I'm not liking how patchy it's looking. So I'm going in with Sultry from the Soft Glam 2 palette. It's like a similar shade, it's a shimmer. That's looking really pretty on top of the eyeshadow stick. I just can't deal with the patchiness. It was driving me nuts, so I need to fix this. So this eyeshadow stick on its own is not my favorite, but as a base for eyeshadow, I mean, Okay, that's a different story. I quickly went off camera and put on some mascara and I think I saved the eyes, you guys. Let's wrap up the lips and I'll share my final honest thoughts with you guys on the eyeshadow stick. I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in the shade Chestnut. For lips, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Satin Lipstick and this is in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm just going to set my face in place with the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. And this is the rose water and green tea one. All right, you guys. So this is the final makeup look. And although overall I am loving how my makeup turned out, I do have some disappointing thoughts about this eyeshadow stick. So to me, a good eyeshadow stick is one that is creamy, high pigmented, blends easily, but also dries relatively quickly. This product met, honestly, 
almost all of the above except for the fact that it was not really drying relatively quickly and I think because of that we had the downfall in the video with the patchiness and the creasing which is not fun. An eyeshadow stick is supposed to make my life easier. It's supposed to make eyeshadow quick and easy and efficient and if I'm gonna have to sit around and wait for my eyes to dry so that they don't get patchy or start creasing then that's not really a good product and that's not really efficient. Of course I was able to work around this issue and turn this product into a good eyeshadow base where I packed on a powder eyeshadow and it just elevated my eyes as you guys can see but in terms of the essence of the product and what it's supposed to do for me it's just not doing that so unfortunately I'm not really a fan and I don't recommend it. I think there are a lot of better eyeshadow sticks out there like my personal favorites are Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown. Those are beautiful products. They work really well on the eyes. They're buttery and creamy like this product but they dry relatively quickly so you don't get that creasing and the patchiness. So unfortunately I don't recommend this. Comment down below and let me know what product you would like me to review next. I'm honestly having so much fun doing specialized product reviews for you guys. Let me know if you guys are liking these types of videos by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!